Hi everyone, welcome back to the only Shade Drops channel. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing really, really good because North Macedonia has just revealed their Junior Eurovision 2023 for their comeback. They are sending Tamara Grujeska with the song Kazimi Kazimikoi. Very curious to see this one. North Macedonia, one of my favorite countries in Junior Eurovision and in Main Eurovision in the latest years. So I'm really hyped about this one. And um, let me remind you before we start that since it's Junior Eurovision, I'm gonna start to focus more on positive sides of the songs since they are all children. And yeah, just before we start, go. Put a little like, subscribe, it doesn't cost anything and it helps me a lot to grow this channel. So yeah, North Macedonia, Junior Eurovision 2023, there we go. Looks like we're going for another slow song. We have a lot of ballet slow songs in this uh, Junior Eurovision. Very atmospheric start. This is starting very very well for me. It's very sweet. Okay, it's got it's getting a bit more energetic here. Solid vocals. Ooh. This is great. This really gives the some Balkan ballad the vibe. Oh, here are the ethno instrumentals. And now we're getting some oriental vibes. Yeah, this is really good. Ooh. The vocals and the emotions. Yeah, this is one of the strongest Junior Eurovision so far for me. Th this is the kind of songs I'm actually, I actually miss in Main Eurovision. This kind of Balkan ballads with some Oriental vibes. Yeah, this is in my top three so far. This is clearly in my top three of this Junior Eurovision so far. I'm loving the oriental instrumental. The ending was a bit brutal. <laughs> but yeah, this is very, very strong. Um, uh, very solid vocals. Again, we have a lot of great singers in this Junior Eurovision so far. Another slow song, kind of a ballade. We have a lot of these too, which makes me think that the more up-tempo songs might do well since there are not a lot of other concurrences but okay this one um i love like i said the oriental instrumental the oriental vibes it's it's this kind of balkan ballet that i really really miss in senior eurovision okay we we had albania last year that was kind of a balkan power powerful ballet and it's it's one of the reasons why it was my number one but yeah we don't get like three or four of these songs or even more in uh senior eurovision like we used to back in the days and i actually miss that so yeah this song i think will clearly be in my personal top three but it's everything i like about this kind of music it's get, when it gets more dynamic, I was scared we might lose a bit of the emotion, but no. We still had so much depth and emotion in her voice. And yeah, I, I'm not saying her voice is deep, but I mean the depth of uh, the emotions. But yeah, this, this, this is one of the best so far in my opinion. Result-wise, um, I don't see it being a contender for the win. But... It can maybe snatch a top 10. I hope it can snatch a top 10. But anyway, great job North Macedonia. Uh, really curious to see how they will stage it. Because I don't really know how they're going to do that. It's always pretty hard to see about Junior Eurovision for the staging. We don't have an idea as clear as in uh, Senior Eurovision. But yeah. Great job, uh, North Macedonia. Great job, uh, Tamara. Oh, I just noticed. Yeah, her name is Tamara. 
remember what North Macedonia's best result will in uh, Senior Eurovision by Tamara Todevska. Is this a coincidence? I don't think so. <laughs> well, okay, enough of my stupid jokes. So, yeah, great job North Macedonia. Best of luck in this. Thanks everyone for watching this video. If you liked it, put a little like, subscribe and join our Discord channel. Link is in the description below. See you there. Bye bye.